for Bryant. You know, and that's the thing that I think Bryant has really, the last three games, they've put some points on the board. Uh, they're averaging about 63. They, they're scoring 80. They scored 78. I mean, that's a lot of points for this team to put on the board. Meanwhile, stay hot Allie Lassen. She's been averaging 14 points a game over her last seven games. O'Neill finding Horton and one. Hey, Scanlon can finish around the rim. And St. Francis right back. Jay Johnson's got eight. Well, Johnson's really becoming comfortable with the with the score off the bounce these days. I mean, she's working at it every single day in pregame. And 50-50 ball when you get shoulder to shoulder. Johnson Oops. catch and shoot is pure. That's just quick release. That, I mean, not much you can do there. Defender was right in her face. Eight offensive rebounds for Bryant, five for St. Francis Brooklyn. Here's O'Neal and one. Great job of hesitating to dribble and then her use of her body getting to the rim. I love how she just keeps the ball away so you can't block it. Ball still up for grabs. Anderson gets it. O'Neal thought about it, gives nice. it to Johnson. Oh. It's good. St. Francis is soaring 13 points for Jay Johnson. Margins for both of these teams. It certainly favors Bryant. St. Francis is a team that turns the ball over the most amount of times in the NEC oh. as O'Neal gets the bucket and Bryant forces the most turnovers. Absolutely, they're, they're, they're taking 148 more free throws than people. And you just can't leave Johnson open in, in transition. And you know, coach talked about that a lot. You gotta find her in transition because she can let it fly and she's gonna make those shots. And Bryant's changed defense coming out in a little two, three zone. Lassen, nice. And Lassen gets it over Scanlon. Johnson lets it fly short. Good Offensive board. rebound, Horton. That's Palmer not boxing out. The Horton getting to the rim and, and coming in from the wing. You know, after that timeout by Coach, great steal. That's a great anticipation. Here's O'Neal all the way to the cup. And she'll shoot two. 22 points, eight assists, and five boards as well as Keltos is feeling it. Take. They've gotten such great contributions from Keltos and DiRenzo off the bench. Here's Pallarino. O'Neal, another three. Oh. You betcha. Uh, it, not bad. You could p passing up Johnson to get O'Neal, and O'Neal's having a heck of a day. Let's go bothered by O'Neal and Pallarino, and Pallarino comes out of the dust, and there's Horton oh. finishing in transition. The first time since 2013-14 that St. Francis Brooklyn will have 10 conference wins as it is now official. And with two games left in the regular season, St. Francis Brooklyn has a two game edge over Wagner for the number four seed. And they'll have an opportunity Monday night to continue to soar into the standings and eclipse St. Francis U and perhaps get to Sacred Heart.